Yesterday, November 19, 2021, justice prevailed. Kyle Rittenhouse was declared not guilty on all five charges. We, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Would you wish the jury pulled? During the trial, the prosecutor misrepresented the facts and even distorted people's testimony. At one point, the judge even tore into the prosecutor for trying to violate Kyle's Fifth Amendment rights. I was astonished when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have no idea why you would do something like that. Despite the mainstream media, President Biden and the prosecutor spreading untrue facts about the case to try to persecute Kyle. Started with Jacob Blake. The prosecutor's office, corrupt Democrat district attorneys release a falsely edited piece of footage to make it look like this was a cold-blooded racial execution attempt, when in fact, Blake was a bad guy who was a rapist and had a knife and was a danger to the police officers and those people in that car. That only didn't come out till later, but at that point, that inflamed such hostility in the streets. This is a very tender moment, remember? This is just after yeah. the situation we saw in, in, uh, in, in Minneapolis. So all of a sudden, people start looting and rioting for three state days, millions of dollars in damage. Politicians basically told the police to stand down. They weren't doing anything right. to stop this. Unfortunately, some of these small business owners had to call in help. And this guy, listen to the call, I agree, shouldn't have had a gun, probably shouldn't have been there, but that's what happens when you treat police like garbage and politicians tell them not to defend law and order. All right, so he gets out there, clear self-defense. Everybody that sees the footage knows that. What do they do? Media comes out and smears this guy as a white supremacist. Joe Biden comes out during the campaign, puts out a tweet linking Donald Trump, says white supremacy, with a picture of Rittenhouse with the AR. That's slander, straight up. And then this corrupt prosecutor goes out and throws a slew of nasty charges at this guy because he wants to run for DA. He's already run for DA once. This guy's got political aspirations. This is an axis of evil. This is prosecutors, the press, and politicians conspiring to create violence, create a deadly situation, and then when a deadly violent situation happens, they want a scalp of this kid. And that is, that is really corrupt. The facts came out and he was found not guilty. For a short period of time, your constitutional rights, your right to defend yourself was upheld again.